Tommy, why aren't you dressed for school? Well, Mr. Parker told me no one does anything on the Sabbath. Today's my new Sabbath. Get upstairs now. <laughs> by the name of Goliath. Now, Goliath apparently had a reputation for killing a lot of people. He was big and he was strong. He was from the city called Gath, out of the Philistine camp. And you know what the Bible says? There was no one that wanted to confront this big giant because they were fearful. And so when he came down and he yelled out and he says, some, bring some warrior out to fight me. I'm the champion of the Philistines. Because there was no one to go back to, to do battle with him, there was one young man up into the hills called David. Thanks. Right, and David, who was a man after God's heart, was a young man, probably not much older than you guys, maybe 12, 13, 14 years of age. But he knew that there was a God behind him who had all the strength and the power to do that. So he just went out and got five little stones, went out to the battle of the giant, so he took one little stone, we don't know how big that stone was, couldn't make it much bigger than that, put it in a sling, he slung it around a bunch of times, he let that thing go, and it hit Goliath right here in the forehead. As the stone sunk into his head. Amazing that Tiny Us could beat up a big Gilmore. I don't think that's what he meant. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we could beat up big Gilmore? But throwing rocks at him. How about instead we get him a frog for his birthday present? Hmm. Well, there's my house. I gotta go eat lunch. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Gilmore. Here's your present. I'll get you, Tommy. Hello? Oh, I'll speak to him about that. Thank you. Bye. Tommy! Tommy, why'd you play that mean joke on Gilmore? Well, he's always mean to me. And plus, Mr. Parker told me that little David could be a big delight. Yes, but Jesus also tells us later in the Bible that we should love our enemies in the New Testament. Yes, sir. So this time, we're just going to have to call Gilmore, tell him you're sorry, and you want to make amends. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you.